my name is Eric and I'm from Games for Hyper. Today I want to show you the mesh to icon creator. And basically, um, you probably have a lot of meshes in your game uh, which you would like to generate icons from. Because manually making icons is a lot of work. Uh, so why not use the mesh that you already have? So what I did, I created a system uh, where you can press play. You can move uh, your mesh around with WASD. Uh, if the movement speed is too quick, you can adapt it. Well, the light intensity is also a bit too much for this one. So let's do it like this. Um, we can zoom in with the mouse. It's too quick because it's a small one. So let's adapt the zoom speed. Hmm maybe change up the resolution a bit yes you can do white icons uh, but of course square ones are preferred or we can decrease the size like so let's now do 1k and um, so now we set it like this maybe rotate it a bit it rotates too quick so let's set the rotation to this and now uh, uh, we can press generate icon uh, the fun thing is you would like to be able to load your preset especially if the meshes are a bit of the same size you would like to uh, save these settings so you can do that by clicking save and now when i'm loading up this map again i can load it and it will directly have these same settings but uh we would be able to create meshes a lot like quickly and um, just imagine you have an inventory system you have 200 items um now i just made a one two three four five six items for you and you want to scroll through them or you can click manually here or you can click this arrow button right here or you can press the arrow keys on the keyboard so you can navigate quickly to your meshes, uh, rotate it a bit like so, generate icon, go to the next one, zooming out, position it, uh, maybe a bit more light, like so, generate next one. Uh, let's rotate this one like so, zooming in and click generate. Next one, oh, this is a beautiful rock. Uh, let's rotate it like so zoom in bit of an angle generate next one oh, this one is a skeletal mesh so that also works let's do this one like so and generate so now we just generated icons for all of these and it will uh, place them within the icon creator folder icon generation and here we see all the icons that we just created a couple of things uh, the icons that are created are always have an inverted opacity that is because the render target of epic games uses inverted opacity if you want to see the icon you can press alpha to see the icon itself or you could click compress without alpha and now uh, uh, it will have a black background just like this one compressor files alpha uh, 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 saving it and now it will have a uh, black background uh, also you can set it to uh, different compression settings so the colors will also change based on the settings that you've assigned so how to use the inverted opacity i created this readme file you can run this editor utility widget and you can scroll through all the information that's available on how uh, you could use uh, such an icon. I also included an example because um, I think it's important to note if you have an icon, you probably want to have a certain background. Maybe you want to have a border around it. Maybe you want to have a glow. Um, all of these things um, do not necessarily need to be embedded in the icon itself because you want to be able to dynamically adapt. 
So that's why we use full opacity icons and these full opacity icons, just like this apple, uh, you can use uh, in any widget, dynamically scale it easily and use it for hundreds of items. And you can select a background border, glow colors, all of these things manually uh, quite easily. And you are able to adjust colors, etc. So yes, this is the icon generator. It works uh, really easily. Uh, if you have new items, the only thing that you need to do is open up the blueprint, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, data model. You can press uh, add or you can import it, find Excel and just select the meshes of the things that you would like icons for. Uh, and if you have a skeletal mesh, you can also just select the skeletal mesh like so. And that's it. I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And I hope you have a nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.